23:50 to 56. And behold, there was a man named Joseph, a counselor, and he was a good man and just. The same had not consented to the counsel and deed of them. He was of Armythia, a city of the Jews, who also himself waited for the kingdom of God. This man went into Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. And he took it down and wrapped it in linen and laid it in a sepulcher that was hewn in stone, wherein never man before was laid. And that day was the preparation, and the Sabbath drew on. And the women also, which came with him from Galilee, followed after, and beheld the sepulcher, and how his body was laid. And they returned and repaired spices and ointments, and rested the Sabbath day according to the commandments. This is Jesus' burial. See Matthew twenty-seven fifty-seven to sixty-one, Mark fifteen forty-two to forty-seven, John nineteen thirty-eight to forty-two. A counselor was a member of the Jewish council or Sanhedrin. Clearly, one man at least had refused to go along with the lynch mob movement against Jesus. Now Joseph's refusal to condemn Jesus blossoms into a willingness to be associated with him publicly by asking for his body. Not a safe action in such a volatile atmosphere. Jesus' own disciples, for example, apparently could not muster the courage to step forward this way. It was Friday and late in the day, with the Sabbath beginning at sundown. Jesus had to be laid to rest in haste, and final care of the body would have to wait the Sabbath's end.